How much fat do you need to eat per day in order to become more insulin sensitive? Many people have been asking how to measure their fat intake in order to follow the mastering diabetes method correctly. I will break it down in this video. First, you have to let go of the old paradigm that carbohydrates cause diabetes. That cannot be further from the truth. Well, there are two types of carbohydrates, the processed refined kind and the whole complex carbohydrates. We advocate for the consumption of the latter, which are full of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, phytochemicals, fiber, and water. Now, the macronutrient distribution in the Mastering Diabetes Method is 70-15-15. This means that a minimum of 70% of your calories should come from whole complex carbohydrates and a maximum of 15% from fat and protein. If you are new to this, there will be a learning curve, but you can use software like chronometer.com to simplify this process. Here's what you gotta do. First, commit to following the method. You can comment guide below so we can send you some delicious recipes. Then, every time you eat, ballpark the quantities of food you are consuming and input them into the food logging software. At the end of the day, the software will tell you how many calories you ate and the exact distribution for carbohydrates, fat, and protein. If you did it correctly, it will fall within the ballpark of 70, 15, 15. I'd encourage you to do this exercise with your current diet to see where you're starting from. Remember that if you are consuming too much fat, the method will not work and you will not be insulin sensitive. And you're not gonna improve your diabetes health. Comment guide below to download some delicious recipes that are extremely easy to make and they will improve your insulin sensitivity and they will optimize your macronutrient ratios.